Hey, Magic fans, we're back again. This is your captain speaking, or Captain Clyde's MTG, and Lord of the Ring, Lord of the Ring leaks just keep a coming. Um, I guess they're gonna go to the ninth when it's all said and done. Um, although that's not what I read. Um, people are posting them from opening packs and everything else. The count currently I've seen from all the lists are 293 out of like 260 something or 230 uh, because they won't separate. Uh, commander and other specialty cards it's it's ridiculous so we'll cover it every day and for today we had a couple yesterday we got some today so hell let's talk about them why not we're already here so with that said we'll save commander until i know commander comes out commander's coming out late i am can't find it anywhere so yeah great uh great way to get the fomo going wizards you just it's like McDonald's. They find a new way to screw up your order every time. Anyway, so don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps keep the channel sponsor-free. Those who have, thank you very much. Here we go. First, we have Sting, the Glinting Dagger. Two Cuddleless for Legendary Artifact that, when equipped, gives a creature plus one, plus one in haste. At the beginning of each combat, untap equipped creature. Um, equipped creature has first strike as long as it's blocking or blocked by a goblin or orc. Um... I mean, it's fine, I guess, but there's still Shadow Spear, which is way better. Anyway, moving on. Next, we have Hobbit's Sting, a white and one instant. It deals X damage to target creature, where X is the number of creatures you control, plus the number of foods you control. Eh, it's a common, what do you expect? Still not a bad card. Won't see play, but... Next, we have Orcish Medicine, black and one instant. Target creature gains your choice of lifelink or indestructible to end a turn, and a mass one... I'll be honest, for a comma, this is pretty good. I mean, two mana to make a 1-1 one, one and make something indestructible at the same time. I mean, it's actually pretty decent. Next, we have Ranger's Firebrand. So, one mana, Ranger's Firebrand deals two damage to a target. The ring tempts you. It's a shock plus. But um bump You know, it's kind of like... I won't go there, never mind. Anyway, moving on. Next, we have... Farmir, Field Commander, white and three for a 3-3 three, three legendary human soldier at the beginning of your instep. If a creature died under your control this turn, draw a card. Whenever the ring tempts you, if you choose a creature other than Farmir uh, as your ring bearer, you get a 1-1 one, one white creature token. Not bad. Uh, four mana is a bit much, but I won't see a whole lot of play unless it's in Commander. Next, we have Gandalf's Sanction, whatever that means. Uh, red, blue, and one sorcery uh, deals X damage to target creature where X is the number of instant sorcery cards in your graveyard. Any excess damage is dealt taught to the creature's controller instead. Um, I mean, it's fine. It's three mana. Eh. I mean, it's probably good in command. Well, I'm not sure it's going to be good in commander. It'd be alright in limited, I guess. Next we have Breaking of the Fellowship. We already talked about this one, didn't we? Red and one. Target opponent gains good. Target opponent deals. Yeah, we talked about this one. Great. So the reposting cards now. Fantastic. All right. Glamdering. Or Glamdering. I forget how to pronounce it. Two Cuddleless. This is um, Gandalf's sword. For those of you who don't. For those of you who aren't the know. Uh, two Cuddleless from Legendary Artifact. Equipped creature has first strike. Gets plus one, plus O. Oh. Uh, for each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard. That is insane. The fact it gives first strike and a plus is already good. The fact it's for every instant or sorcery is absurd. Even if you have no instance of sorcery, it still gets first strike. Uh, and combat trick instant into the graveyard. You make your creature bigger to first strike something dead. Uh, so good. Anyway, whenever a quick creature deals combat damage to a player, you may cast instant or sorcery, instant or sorcery spell from your hand. With mana value less than or equal to the damage without paying its mana cost. Another good... So this... So Dreadhorde Arcanist, for those of you who don't know, had, was a thing when it first came out and probably still is to some degree. It was a red and one, one three, that when it attacks, you can cast an instant sorcery from your graveyard equal to or less than its power, which was a one three. So not a whole lot of stuff going on there. But with things like giant growth, red giant growth, the red pump spells in general really made some stuff go down, especially in modern when you had things like Thought Seize, Cabal Rituals, not Cabal Rituals, sorry, Cabal, um, oh my god, Inquisition, uh, anything else, right? Um, 
this turns any creature into that. And if you put three cre three spells in your graveyard, you could just start casting the biggest ones first. Plus, your creature's going to have toughness. This is going to be a powerful mythic and commander. And it may even see play in some of the older formats because this is amazing. Like, this can go into... This is a new sword. And I know it's not a sword. But this is a piece of equipment that could make its way... Um, into the sword decks with uh, Stoneforge Mystics and, and that new white card that does the kind of same thing, lets you go fetch one. Um, this is good. I like this. Next we have Shadow Summoning. Black and white sorcery. Create two 1-1 one, one spirit creatures with flying. Eh. I mean, it's good. But, but in older formats, like it's standard to be amazing, but in older formats, I mean, you have things like um, uh, Relentless Spirits or whatever it is that get lets you get to and then flash it back. This doesn't do that. Like, just not good enough. Next we have Old Man Willow, green and black with a two and two. So four mana for Legendary Tree Folk. It's power and toughness is equal to the number of lands you control. So if you're playing for four, unless you've unless you've ramped, he's a four four. So that's sweet. Uh, whenever he attacks, you may sacrifice another creature or token. When you do, target creature and opponent controls just minus two minus two till end of turn. That's a really cool ability. Um, with all the food and stuff that's floating around in this set, uh, it's gonna make this a great card in limited. I mean, he casts on turn six for four mana. It's a six six. So it scales. It's it's really good. Um, and in decks, it'll probably be really good. However, four mana is really pushing the availability of what cards can do in modern and older formats, especially when it doesn't have some outlandish ability to push it over the top. This one is good, but not outlandish, in my opinion. Uh, good commander card, good limited card, probably as far as it goes. Next, we have Claim of the Precious. I, I like that. <laughs> Sweet taking out of the bushes. Anyway, uh, two black and one destroy target creature. The ring tempts you. Um, only good for limited. It's a sorcery. I mean, you could murder. If you want to play something like this, you play the Hero's Downfall. Murder. Um, there's a lot of things that are better because they're instants. Next we have Birthday Escape. One blue sorcery. Draw a card. The ring tempts you. This is an amazing common. Anything for one blue that says draw a card plus has an extra effect that may help trigger your abilities is fantastic. And this in a deck where the, the ring tempting you is a thing, is going to be a four of. This This is really good for a common. Next we have Stone of Ersk. Uh, one colorless legendary artifact. Uh, if a creature an opponent controls would die, eggs out instead. Already good. Uh, two colorless, tap, sacrifice a stone, exile target player's graveyard, draw a card. All right, so let me just take a second. I'll breathe deep here. This is effing phenomenal. Um, in modern, graveyard hate's always been a thing that people need to run. And this thing. You can only have one because it's legendary. But it's one mana. It's the best thing you could possibly run. It's it's better than um, the white spell. I forget what it's called now. That exiles all graveyards. This one just exiles your opponent. You literally can be playing a graveyard-centric deck. And against, another, and, and against another graveyard deck, run this, shut their deck down while your deck does their th does its thing. This is an uncommon, and I'm amazingly surprised because of that. This card is phenomenal. Plus, if it get it late game and um, they've already got their graveyard built up, then for three mana, you just draw a card, sacrifice it, exile the graveyard. Like, there's so much right about this that... This is a powerful uncommon. This is going to be a two or four dollar uncommon easily, um, and the rare probably about ten bucks. Or I'm sorry, the rare, the foil probably about ten bucks. I mean, I may be wrong, but I, this has got some serious legs or balls because it's a round stone. But um, anyway, next we have. Well, it looks like that we're in on the stones. <laughs> Always like in on the stones. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Stay tuned. I got some interesting information. I'm going to make a second video right after this one. It's probably going to be posted about 30 minutes to an hour later um, about what's going on with Lorcana. Boy, you want to hear this. Uh, yeah, so anyway, thanks a lot for watching. If you already subscribed, thank you very much. If you haven't, now's your chance. Uh, until next time, be kind. And I hope to see you across from the game table. <laughs> Stones. Get it?